come with me on my visit back to Romania and discover a village part of an unknown history. It's 2016. My father will get pension later this year. He's been a priest in this community for about 36 years. This house by this church, which is the parish house indeed, it's where I grew up and what I've always known as home. When my father gets pensioned, him and the whole family will move away in our old grandma's house, which we have inherited from her. It's Sunday afternoon now. Everything around the churchyard is quiet. Earlier this morning, we've been to the liturgy, which is the Orthodox Mass, and also a prayer in remembrance of the dead has taken place. This is quite specific for the Orthodox Church, with some rituals which involve the whole com community gathered together to remember the ones who have departed. We grew up in this churchyard as much as we grew up in the parish house. Every Easter, every Christmas, every wedding, every Christianing, and every religious um, holiday, me and my brother were kind of always present here. Our house is just two steps away, uh, just bordering the churchyard. One of the joys of a quiet Sunday afternoon in uh, Romanian countryside is just maybe to play with uh, pets around the house. My parents have always had a bunch of cats and dogs as well. And now these three cats, which we have only two around at the moment, they are quite young ones, still under one year old. This is a parish house, where my family will have to move out this year from, when my dad gets pensioned, of course. They moved in here when I was about two or three years old, and the house, the front house, looked quite the same back then. But in the backyard, though, there was um, a building for the stable, and as well an outdoors, old-style toilet, like in the traditional Romanian countryside. This building in the backyard which is, as you can see, quite old, is the old barn. It's always been here, and um, my brother and I used to play in it. At some point during the summer, we would have uh, our doll's house up there on top of the corn cobs. Well, this kiosk here has quite a big sentimental value for me and my brother. Yes, uh, nowadays, um, since we are not using it anymore, my mom uses it as a handpan. But back when we were teenagers, and our friends helped us and our father build this. It used to be our small summer kiosk. Here we would spend time listening to music and whatever, just being teenagers away from our parents, really. The main bedroom in my parents' house is this room, where we are now. It used to be one of the most important rooms in the house. We used to have the Christmas tree here, because actually the main bedroom in Romanian houses is quite a big room. Uh, Santa Claus used to come here and to give us our presents. And now that my brother has a son, when he was very young, Santa Claus came here for him as well. 25 kilometers from the village is the city of Timisoara, the heart of the historical Banat region. I, I used to live here for about 20 years and I will show you a few glimpses of this city. The Metropolitan Cathedral, one of the biggest buildings of this type in Romania. 
the Opera Square, also known as the Victory Square, as the hub of the 1989 revolution, the pigeons in the Opera Square. The locals love for having their drinks outside. The pedestrian area around Union Square, more recently created, the historical Union Square in Romanian Piazza Uniri. Today we brought some flowers to the graveyard where our granddad, our great grandparents, and our great great grandparents are buried. The graveyard in our village, as in most uh, Romanian villages, is located outside of the village. My granddad, Mavrogeni Ernest, established here in Banat after he met my grandmother. He was doing here the compulsory military service after the Second World War. He came from a very well-off Greek family in Bucharest, but who was impoverished after the communist regime took over. My grandmother's parents and great-parents are buried here. She grew up in the same village where my father and then I, years later, grew up as well. In my home region of Banat, rich in history, traditions live on through the young generation. My foster brothers and my nephew, like many other children and teenagers in the village, have been attending the traditional dancing group for years. <laughs> The school organizes folk shows together with partners from Serbia and takes the kids to festivals across the country and abroad. And now, back to the beautiful south of the UK. I have all these lively fresh memories to start talk about an unknown history. Watch the unknown history on Twitter, on Facebook and on the new website.